been through hell. Been through hell. Hey, congratulations, that was, that was a terrific performance. What I want to say, and this is a God's honest truth, if it wasn't for God putting the right people in my life, I wouldn't be here today. And that is a God's honest truth. God, I've left God a thousand times and he's never left me today. And I can assure you, not just today, but the rest of the day of my life. My life was over two, over two and a half years ago. Imagine being a man, 21 year old of the world. Every, look at this I've got now. now. And back then, didn't want to live. What on earth was I thinking, eh? What on earth was I thinking? God's put the right people in my life. Now look at me, conquering the world. What, listen, I couldn't have done this by myself. God's put people in my life. who put me on the right path because I was on the path to no man's land. Look at me. Look at me. I'm not just good looking. I've just won another title. But all I've got to say is thank God for putting the people in my life because I couldn't do it by myself. This life's too hard. God's put, put, God's put pat me on a path. You wish you'd seen where I was going. Going to no man's land thinking I was good driving a nice car. A nice car, a lot of rubbish. I ain't got nothing if I ain't got God. And that's the truth. And that's just me not talking uh, uh, all because I'm winning now. Uh, God, I'm not talking all about God now like a lot of people do. God's never left my side for good and bad. And this is why I mentioned him when, I was, when I'm doing good because when I was doing bad, I never said two words. Thank you, God. Thank you for putting this man in my life. Well, let's have a quick word with not one of the people him. you mentioned. Not just him, no. All of my team putting in my life. I mean, my family, my God, if I never had my mother and father, however they've put up with me for the, for, oh, I can't explain to you. I am a handsome wife at home. I'll see you soon. Miss you. I remember seeing the, the pair of you together for the first time at the World Championships in 2017. He was just about to turn pro and you were telling me what you knew he would go on and do. Yeah. It's been a journey though. Yeah, it's been a journey and as he said, he's been through up and ups and downs and um, it hasn't always been easy for him. And, um, but I mean, who wants to get to the top, he has to go through hardships. That's normal, isn't it? Um, what I can say is that this young man there is a very, very special human being. Not only boxing wise. Boxing wise, we've seen some of it tonight. Um, but also he has, a, he has a beautiful heart and he touches many people's lives and that's what it's about. It's about winning and then giving something back and he's like that and I love it. Um, so um, I think, like he said, I'm, I'm also believing in God and um, I think it's, it's something that is very beautiful that God put us together and made us grow together. I love it. Can I say something, right? Now, this to other people, people talk about People who help them, sponsors, this, that, and the next thing. There's a man who come in my life, Stan, Leap Pro. I can't remember the other one. It's this man here, here he is here. This man come in and believed in me now. And not just him, I got my big friend, John Thompson, Lanark Boxing Club. I got Graham, Lanark Country Carpets. I got John Global Green. I got, but honestly, even though we're boxing and the ups and downs, these lads, it's helped me. And... And we got James Holly. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, I've got James Holly, got my cousin Michael. I've got big Tony Macaroni at the back there. I've got my brother there, who's a security guard. <laughs> and I'm telling you now, I'm very happy, grateful. And here we go. Let's rock and roll. I want to become world champion. I've got my second belt. Enough of the sad talk. Let's get it! Get up, boy! Okay, well, there's plenty of, there's plenty of people want to talk to you, so I'll let you go. Well done tonight.